Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. Today, we are going to stress test your GPU to check for any issues. This tutorial is for any graphics card, Nvidia, AMD, you name it. So stick with me and let's make sure your GPU is in tip top shape. First, let's check if your graphics card is recognized by your computer. Right click the start button on your desktop. Now, left click on device manager from the menu. This opens the device manager window. Look for Display Adapters and left-click the little arrow next to it. You should see your graphics card listed. For example, mine says AMD Radeon RX 580, but yours might say something like NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 or whatever card you have. Double-click your graphics card's name to open its properties. Check the device status. It should say this device is working properly. If it doesn't, that's a red flag. It could mean your driver isn't installed correctly. If you haven't installed it yet, don't worry. Head to the AMD or NVIDIA website, search for your card's driver, and follow their steps to install it. I won't cover that here, but let me know in the comments if you want a dedicated driver installation video. If your driver installation crashes or your computer shuts down during it, that's another sign something might be wrong with your GPU. But if your driver is installed and device manager says everything's good, we're ready to move on. Next, we need to make sure your power supply is up to the task. Did you know a weak power supply can cause GPU issues? It's true. Open your favorite browser and search for recommended power supply for your graphics card. For example, for my RX 580, most sites suggest a minimum of 450 watts, but I'd go with at least 500 watts to be safe. If your power supply is too weak, it could cause crashes or errors during our test, so double check this before we proceed. All right, now the fun part. Let's download a GPU stress test tool called Furmark. In your browser, search for Furmark Download. Click on a trusted site like the official Furmark page. You'll see options for Furmark 2 and Furmark 1. We want Furmark 2, the latest version. Click the download button for Furmark 2 for Windows and choose the Windows 64-bit zip file. Once it's downloaded, go to your downloads folder. Right-click the Furmark zip file, select Extract All, and click Extract. Open the extracted folder and look for the Furmark GUI executable file. Double-click it to launch Furmark. This is where the magic happens. In the Furmark window, you'll see a few settings. Let's set this up right. Click the Resolution drop-down and choose your monitor's resolution. To find your resolution, right-click on your desktop, select Display Settings, and check what it says under resolution. Mine's 2560 by 1440, so I'll select that in Furmark. If you have multiple GPUs, make sure the dropdown shows the card you want to test, like my RX 580. You can leave the other settings on default. Ready to stress test? Here we go. Click the Run button in Furmark. This starts the stress test, and you'll see a wild, fuzzy donut spinning on your screen. <laughs> Don't worry, that's supposed to happen. It's pushing your GPU to its limits. Now, here's what to watch for. On the left, Furmark shows your GPU's temperature, usage, VRAM, and power draw. For example, my RX 580 is at about 1,644 megabytes of VRAM. The key is the temperature. It'll climb, but it shouldn't go too high. Around 70 to 80 degrees Celsius is normal for most cards under load. If it hits 90 or above, that's a sign your GPU might be overheating. Let the test run for 20 to 30 minutes. Yes, it takes a bit, but this ensures your GPU can handle sustained heavy loads. If your computer crashes, the test stops, or you see artifacts, your graphics card might have an issue. You can stop the test early by pressing the Escape key. Press Escape if you need to stop the test. All right, that's it for today. You now know how to stress test your GPU like a pro. Drop a comment below if your test went smoothly, or if you ran into issues. I'm here to help. Until next time, Stay passionate about tech.